Hey everyone, I'm Zephyr, and this is the first in a series of beginner tutorials where I'll be going through all the basic aspects of After Effects. In this video I'll be showing you all the panels in After Effects so you're not totally lost. The next video will explore the buttons within those panels. So let's start out with the Tools panel, which is right here. This is where you'll find most of the creative tools where you can use it to make things inside After Effects. It's kind of like your creative panel. You'll use it pretty often, but there's not much to talk about there. The next panel is your project panel. This is where all the media that you import to your video will be stored. So for example, images, video, and other types of media will be stored right here. Once you start working on a project, this panel will probably hide and there will be a new tab over here, but you can always access it by clicking back over here. To import a file to the project panel, just click File, Import, File, and it'll open up a dialog box that you can use to browse your files. Once it imported, items will show right here and you'll be able to scroll through them. Let's move on to the layer panel. This is where all the layers in your video are shown. They're stacked from top to bottom so that layers behind other layers will not be shown if covered. It works the same as Photoshop, so you don't have to worry about that. The next panel is the Timeline panel. Yes, it's actually part of the Layer panel, but I like to separate them verbally so that we can get a feel for it because they're quite different. The Timeline panel allows you to see all your clips in the order in which they appear and disappear off the panel. You'll be doing a lot of the editing in here, and you'll be able to rearrange your video just in the Timeline panel. Let's move on to the preview panel. This will show what is going on in your video and what it looks like. Also, if you double click a layer, it'll show up in a new tab showing you just that layer by itself, but I haven't really used this feature, so I'm not sure you'll be using it much either. Next is the playback panel. This is where you can access some controls to preview the video and there's even something called RAM Preview that allows you to see what the video looks like smoothly. There's not much to talk about here, so let's move on to the final panel I'll talk about, which is the Effects panel. You can browse the effects here just by clicking these arrows, or you can search in the dialog box for the effect you're looking for. This is where you can find all the effects to jazz up your video. Lastly, let's look at some overall tips for the panels. The first tip is that you can access some panel specific controls by clicking on this type of button. You can choose to undock panel, undock frame, close panel, close frame, maximize frame, columns, and different stuff depending on where you click it. In the project panel, let's use this as an example. Undocking will just show it in a new window like this. You can always drag it back into place. If you close it, it'll not show up anymore until you open it back up. If you want a panel back, you have to go to Window and then choose the panel that you want. While selecting a panel, you can press the tilde key in order to make a full screen version of it. This is really helpful if you just need a bigger version of each panel at the moment. You can also drag around any panel as I already showed you, although the default layout is pretty good so I'm not sure why you would want to do that. If you mess everything up like I just did, you can just go to Workplace Standard and it'll go back. But I'm pretty sure I know how to fix this so there we go. If you don't like any of your changes, this is the place to go. You can choose any new presets or just go back to standard. And lastly, you can resize each panel by just going like this and dragging. Alright, I hope this helped you to get a kind of look at panels and know what they all do. In the next tutorial I'll talk about the buttons within the panels so you know what all these buttons mean because there's a lot of them. Alright guys, thanks for watching.